if you've been hearty enough to follow along, I want to talk about what I said about mere employment. Mere employment doesn't mean you don't work. Do what you want to do, do what you need to do. But I take a strong philosophical and moral objection to people having to work more than absolutely necessary. You know, you take something that people obviously need, like a vet. If a vet loves their job, why don't they uh, do work for people they live around, travel over the countryside if need be? Why don't they work one or two days a week and have seven other equally passionate vets that work in the same office and make them adequately rewarded in a society um, that is adequately respectful of all of our work so that they don't have to work any more than that and can do the best work possible? Because we have a lot more work to do than the shit that we do for money. That's all. And that if the work that we do, aside from our organized labor, is so valuable, we shouldn't have to do organized labor so much. I just lost all of my water, actually. It just fell. Just fell through my legs. Okay, well, with the punctuation of the dropping of my water, um, but I don't need that much more of anyway. Uh, an involuntary offering. So I, I don't imagine people not working. I imagine them actually working for themselves and working to their benefit so their work didn't have to have such a qualified benefit to anyone. And ask yourself, not I, but who, and whose interest is it for people to work themselves so stressful and so ragged that the very reason they're working gets further and further from them every day and every hour of their so-called labor. That's not respectful. When the king and queen are operating out of line, you speak ill of the king and queen. You throw insults at them. That they should be thrown back on the, the hot, bloody coals of their own emotional, physical, and sexual dignity. And this is a way that we can keep the world bright and happy and use our anger and hatred and direct it at those who deserve it, if only to be shaken from their bloody, mesmerized stupor. <laughs>